going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be getting my 2018 Mustang GT. This is one with the Whipple uh, Gen 5 blower onto the dyno. And uh, we're going to see what kind of numbers it puts down. But first of all, we've got a little issue with these drag tires back here. We were doing some uh, burnouts with it yesterday and uh, some of the belts weren't coming apart. So those tires are completely done. So uh, we're going to take the rear wheels off. I'm going to put my factory rear wheels back on it. Cruise to the dyno, we're going to do a little timing test on it. We're starting at about 10 degrees, see what kind of horsepower it makes, and bump up from there. Again, this is a, uh, I'll pop the hood just for those of you that are new to the channel. This is Gen 5 Whipple. It has a 3875 pulley. Just uh, nothing special, just basically bolts on. Uh, I think that's around 10 pounds of boost or so. It's just on 93 pump gas, so remember that when you see these dyno numbers. 93 pump gas. I did test some E85 and it was draining the fuel rail, so I uh, just got the drop in uh, DW400 pump. So we're going to see what kind of numbers it makes. I'm going to take a guess at right around 700-ish wheel horsepower is where I'm going to guess it at. But uh, we'll find out later, so uh, stay tuned. But for now, we have got to get those tires off, get my stock ones put back on it, and we will head straight to the dyno. Ready? So we got the car in here. Get ready to take the wheels off. Actually, before you see this dyno video, drop a comment here below the video what you think the horsepower is going to be and uh, see how close you get. You can see those tires are completely gone. I'm gonna find my socket. Sure, sure. These wells are so much easier to take off than those race cars. You get what you pay for. Sure. But don't get me wrong, I have nothing against race cars because I'm not running on one of my cars and I like it. Just to transfer back and forth. It's not very fun. Just so you know, I had already broke these loose, that's why this is. I figured there's going to be that one guy coming on here. Dude, your lugs were loose. Nope, they weren't. Pop this one off. Just center cap. Oh man, they are gone. Oh, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Let's see what that other one looks like. That's the noise we were hearing. That's, no, that's what we heard. Look at the bulge in that one. Yeah, that's what we heard flopping around earlier. Making all that noise. Dang. On top of here. And I've got my factory rears, which came on the corner right here. With them moved on. You got lugs. Right the You've got lugs right there. I'm trying to find the other wheels. The other wheels are already on the other side. Oh, okay, yeah, perfect. I put it there for a reason. Ready? You're good. You can get them started without doing it by hand. You know, without cross threading them. But. This is just to get it started. I always torque my wheels down to spec. We just left and uh, we're on the way to the dyno. You can see my Mustang right behind me. I'm actually bringing a customer's car today. separate video but uh, it's just what I'm driving right now kind of uh, dining both at the same time as I'm also tuning another uh, car at that shop so
So we made it here to the dyno, and uh, this is what most of you guys want to see, what this car's got put down. Again, it's on 93 fuel, so uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up too high. I would guess somewhere around 680 and 700. But uh, like I said, the first pull, we're going to be on 10 degrees of timing. Let's we'll see what it puts down, and we're going to start bumping up from there just so you can see the difference that timing makes. We're trying to bump up two to, the, two to three degrees at a time. Uh, I'm not going to go over 20 on the fuel we're on, probably about 18, 17, and we'll see what it puts down. But for now, we'll get it strapped on the dyno. We just did the first pull. I don't know how good this is going to show on camera. Some of it doesn't feel like to focus very good. See, we got uh, right at 9 degrees of spark all the way across the RPMs. You can see here's where the pull started. See, the throttle position went to 100. See, 9.8 degrees of spark all the way up as the RPMs went up, all the way to 7,400. And again, at 9.8 degrees of spark because I had it locked at 10 degrees. So, let's go check out the dyno numbers. I was close, but I guess uh, you can see it's kind of flat line because it, lo it was locked out at 10 degrees. It looks like uh, max power is 561 at 450 on the torque. So we're going to bump up to 14 degrees on the next pool and see what the gains are with 4 degrees of timing. Again, it is going to be capped at 14 degrees. It will not go past that. Just finished the dyno pull on a 14 degrees of timing. You can see it revving right up to 7,500 RPMs. Timing locked out at 13.8 degrees. You throttle bottle was open, it's enriching. Fuel trim's looking good. So, let's see what it made. So, here is the dyno graph for the 14 degrees of timing. First one you see 561, second adding 4 degrees of timing, pushes up to 639. And you can see the torque went from 450 to 499. So now it's time to jump up to 18 degrees. So, uh, right now, flash is the new screen there. This one is going to be 18 degrees of timing. And uh, it is on still 93. Seems to be taking timing pretty good. So we'll try 18. I'm hoping for 7, 20 inch, 18 degrees. And then after the 18 degrees, we may try 20. But the 20 was just fixing the dime though. The 18 is what I want to do. So, I'll get this flash in there and we'll get another one in. So, 
so I just finished the uh, pool on the 18 degrees. You can see we're right there at uh, 7600 RPMs. Again, it's stock oil pump gears, 17.8 degrees of spark. You can see right there, flat line on the spark down there. And uh, you can see that again, there's no knock retard down there. So everything's checking out. Flowing a lot of air. And then we're going to do one more test for the 20 after this. But for now, let's go check out the numbers. Here you can see the dynagraph for the 18 degrees. The power right there was 699 at 530 on the torque. But we're going to do one more test on the 20 degrees, see what it makes. Still impressive numbers either way, for sure being at 3875 fully, which you can see there. Should be like 10 or so pounds of boost. But I'll flash the new tune in there and we will give the 20 degrees a try just so we can break that 700 mark. So we just finished the uh, the 20 degree pool and uh, we really didn't give it enough cool down time. You can see there at 7400 we were getting 3 degrees of knock retard. It actually pulled it back to 16 degrees. So it actually lost horsepower in this case. But let's check out the dyno numbers. You can see the last pool there, 677. At 536 on the torque because I did add some timing and down low that's why that torque is up but it did lose some power because the timing got pulled back so about 18 degrees is what it likes uh, right at 700 horsepower I think that's safe to call or safe to assume that's close enough to 700 so we'll go with that for now and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the car strapped off and get it off the dyno I just got off the dyno and uh, the 700 horsepower or so, I was pretty close, I guessed it about 680, 700. I knew it was going to be right in that area. Had it took the, the 20 degrees with a little higher octane, you know, it would probably be like 720 to 730. But I'm happy with the 700 either way. I'm glad you guys could see the difference, the timing, what kind of horsepower changes it makes. But for now, that's going to be the end of this video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.